we can stop. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to another Hova Flips video. Uh, first off, I want to thank you guys if you tuned in to last week's yard sale video where I found the Nintendo 64. Thank you so much uh, for supporting the video with comments, likes, uh, anything that you may have done to help the reach on that video. Just watching it in general all the way till the end. Um, that stuff helps a lot. The YouTube algorithm actually picked that video up and it did really, really well. Um, it's the first time I've seen the YouTube algorithm actually pick up one of my videos in a lot, like in years. So thank you sincerely uh, for that. It's exciting for me to be able to transition from gaming content to something like this and see some success. So uh, genuinely, thank you so much for that. Uh, this video is a little bit of a want want, especially coming off of the, you know, amazing video that was last week finding vintage nintendo 64 and all that stuff as fun as that was and as well as that video did uh this is kind of a good showcase of how it doesn't always go like that um you know last couple weekends i've been spending quite a bit over the course of friday and saturday and filling up quite a bit of decent inventory getting some good buys and then this weekend i went out and this is all i bought uh Went out Friday, there was only six or seven sales, uh, it was really foggy and cold that morning, so everything was like wet and damp and miserable, you know, the people that set up too early, all their stuff was just basically ruined with moisture, I always get super discouraged on mornings like that anyways, and then there was just nothing to find on top of it, so, uh, didn't even go back out Saturday, because I think there was like maybe one more sale, and it just didn't sound that promising, so anyways... I'll show you guys what I got. Um, these things uh, came from the same sale. I picked up some shirts. They had a lot of, like, their son uh, was into some decent brands and stuff like that. So he had a lot of decent t-shirts. And they only had 25 cents each on them. So I figured I would take, uh, you know, some shots in the dark. I saw this Tony Hawk one. I thought it might have been vintage. Um, aside from, you know, the official logo right there, I don't think there's a date. That'd be embarrassing if there was a date. Um, anyways, I think it's like modern Kohl's stuff. I'm probably just going to throw that in a donate pile. Um, but I figured, you know, on the off chance that that was an old Tony Hawk t-shirt that that might do really well. Uh, this Zoo York large graphic, I think I'll do okay on this. Um, it's a nice adult size. It, it says large, but it, it seems more like an XL. Uh, so I think I'll be all right on that. Um, and then I got this WWE Raw. Um, I'll probably list this, but it's like a youth size. There's already a couple other listed that aren't selling for like 12 bucks. So is what it is. I Again, I just kind of grabbed some stuff quickly to see, you know, if I got lucky and actually found some like vintage WWE. Um, you know, New York can do well sometimes. And obviously Tony Hawk, there's potential there. But all that kind of turned out to be a blech. And then at the same sale, I found this. So that was one thing. I went to this sale first because it li it had games listed in the ad. Um, and I got there and there was, I can't even remember, there was like Skylanders stuff. And, you know, Skylanders, yay, right? So anyways, they had this Game Gear game uh, for $3 I offered to. Because, you know, not that $3 is a terrible price, but there's just not a whole lot of value when it comes to reselling Game Gear stuff because the consoles themselves aren't that great, and it just is what it is. So it is a pretty clean cartridge, though, and it came in a little carrying case, so it was a decent pickup for $2. I won't make a whole lot of money on it, but it was a slow day. Better than nothing, I guess, right? And then at the last sale that I was at, um, I was about to walk away. There was really nothing worth looking at. And I saw this um, for two bucks. I offered a dollar. She accepted. You know, the, the sticker is obviously not in the best shape. Uh, but these do okay. Um, there's a couple variations of these. It is actually uh, vintage. It is from 90. I want to say it's 92. It's here somewhere. 99. There it is. 99 Mattel. So, um, you know, it's fairly old. There is still buyers out there for stuff like this. Um, whether they're just rebuying it or buying it for their kids or, you know, to display their collection, who knows, whatever. Um, but yeah, I think I might be able to get like 20 bucks out of that, something like that. So, but that's it. I got three shirts that were basically, I should have left there, uh, a game gear game that after shipping and stuff, I'll make a couple bucks and a hot wheels case. So, uh, that's kind of, again, a good representation of, you know, like you don't always get good weekends. Sometimes 
sometimes you get bad weekends and this was one of them so hopefully they'll be better from here on out but i did want to show you guys the couple things i sh i found um you know, I'm going to try to do the yard sale video every week that I can, but if there's weekends like this, I might not even do it. So uh, that's it, ladies and gentlemen. I love you. Thank you so much for uh, watching, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Oh, the next video that you guys will see, so next Tuesday, right? Tuesday? Yeah, I do that on Tuesdays. Um, so you're watching this on a Friday. Uh, Tuesday, I'm going to be doing the What Sold video. So if you've only watched the yard sale content of what I bring in, you got to watch the what sold because I go over the things that sold over the last seven days every week. But next week's episode will be a little bit special because I will go over the entire month of April, exactly how much uh, we sold and all my selling costs and all that good stuff. So anyways, love you. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you on the next one. Bye-bye.